Solana shot up in popularity and is now the sixth largest coin on CoinMarketCap. If you invested in Solana in early 2021, you would have made around a 13,000% profit in a single year. Impressive, right? What's even more impressive is that Solana already has over 400 applications running on its ecosystem, and the total value locked in Solana is over $9.8 billion, according to SolanaProject.com. In this video, we are deep diving into the top 10 projects on the Solana ecosystem. What's going on guys, it's Trevor Max Main, and here at CoinMarketCap, we are on a mission to make crypto accessible all around the world. That's why we love making videos for you that are packed with information and are easy to share with your friends and family. So if you want something more than just hype and to actually learn about crypto, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, as well as to turn on post notifications so you're not gonna miss out on our next video. So anyways guys, let's learn together. Here are the top 10 projects on Solana. Number 10, Mercurial Finance. This project was the first Solana-based project focusing on stablecoin trading. The platform received a starting investment of $100,000 from DeFi Alliance, an industry accelerator. Mercurial Finance currently has $62.57 million in total value locked, but aside from that, there is another reason it's made onto our list today. Currently, the token is available on FTX, Gate.io, Radium, and Serum Dex. The token distribution for this project is broken down with 50% going to the Mercurial Foundation, 10% to the team, and 20% allocated for private sale. Next up, Paired Protocol, the DeFi network that focuses on providing users access to the value locked in DeFi systems, essentially making liquidity liquid again. The project comes with its own stablecoin, PAI, pegged to 1 USD, and allows holders to borrow against lenders and retrieve their locked value seamlessly. Paired Finance also offers a governance token to those that want to lock their tokens. And as it stands, this application has 86.86 million in total value locked and raised 84 million after two successful IDOs. Since its mainnet launch in June, it has grown to offer a full suite of DeFi products and the max supply of Parrot is capped at 2.1 billion. One factor to note, despite the tech-heavy capabilities of this protocol, the user interface itself is pretty seamless. The Parrot protocol platform allows you to navigate from minting to the vault, earnings, and rewards in a simple click. For us here at CoinMarketCap, we do appreciate any beginner user interface. And at number eight, Manga Markets holds an impressive 126.39 million in total traded volume. Originally, the Solana-based platform entered the market as a lending platform, and in August of 2021, raised $70 million in its MNGO token sale. And since then, Mango Markets have expanded their offerings to include Mango Dow. The Mango Dow, at the time of this recording, has a treasury balance of $871 million and 92 Dow proposals. So, if you're bullish on Dows, you may want to take a look into some of the recent proposals coming from the Mango Dow. To give you an example of what DAOs you can expect to find on the platform, one current DAO is funding $1.5 million backing from Mango Labs. The DAO funding will work towards a mobile app, building stronger market making tools, and also creative Mango V4. According to the creator of the DAO proposal, Daffy, this DAO along with Mango Labs, commitment to decentralization and open source should help Mango become censorship resistant. The lending platform Larx is also one that we would like to reference. This isn't just any DAO, this is a metaverse-based financial protocol. Larx's offerings expanded beyond the typical lending pools and was the first protocol to offer mortgage lending with auto compounding. With the token ticker Larx priced at 0.007, the total value locked is currently 135.86 million. 2022 welcomes Larx protocol, partnering with the Solana build decentralized exchange, Soldex.ai. So what can you expect from this partnership? How could it improve Larex? Well, the partnership will allow Larex and Soldex to sync and work together. Soldex will gain from Larex's exposure and market recognition. When it comes to the benefits for Larex, Soldex is the fastest third generation decentralized exchange built on Solana with 24 seven machine learning. That means that even on red market days, the trading algorithm will be emotionless and neutral. Orca is another top decentralized exchange built on Solana. It made it into our top spot list because of its large traded volume, with an impressive 516.6 million in total value locked. Founded in 2020 and launched in February of 2021, Orca was brought to the market when there was very little infrastructure on Solana. The project recently received $18 million in funding, led by Three Arrows Capital. 
there is a little bit more to this project than just a large backing. This project also stood out to us because of its unique design. Orca brands itself as human-centered. The DEX features unique innovations within the platform such as the fair price indicator and the magic bar, giving users a quick range of trading pairs in a single click. Grace Kwan, the co-founder of Orca, informed her community that the human-centered design of Orca describes the process used to design the DEX. It interviews users, observing them, and how they use already existing products to identify pain points and areas of improvement. The Orca logo of this protocol was even hand-drawn by the co-founder herself, as both co-founders are fans of scuba diving. Sabre made a huge impact on the Solana ecosystem by providing liquidity for people to easily swap between different stable pairs of assets. Sabre offers liquidity for the likes of USDT, USD, and Sol, but even Bitcoin pools. This market maker has a cross-chain approach, bridging with other blockchains such as Ethereum, Celo, BSC, and Terra. A fun fact about Sabre, the initial version was created from one of the first Solana hackathons by Dylan Macalino, co-founder, and was the first name stable swap. Dylan was also previously project manager at OKCoin and product design lead at Pipe. Sabre has quickly become one of the largest stablecoin swaps on the Solana ecosystem, with a pretty active community across Twitter and Medium. Soulfarm is the next on our list. The DeFi app raised $5 million, expanding its offering with lending investors including Jump Capital and Alameda Research. The native token of this aggregator is the Tulip token. The platform allows you to utilize the low-cost, high-speed Solana blockchain, which means that users can benefit from competitive staking rewards. Despite being the fourth on our list, Soul Farm with the ticker Tulip only holds a market cap of $11 million at the time of this recording, with the price significantly lower than the November 2021 highs of $49.82. The Soul Farm team was first introduced to each other via the crypto focused Discord groups back in 2017. And while Soul Farm isn't the only project that they've worked on, the team has also collaborated on some smaller Ethereum projects. And Soul Farm is definitely the most successful. And the next one is Serum Dex. Serum Dex is the largest when it comes to the total value log. The creation of this Dex itself is pretty interesting. Serum Foundations is created by FTX, Alameda Research, and a handful of others. One unique selling point of this decentralized exchange is the fact that it's co-founded by Sam Bankman Friend. The CEO of FTX has recently been crowned the world's youngest billionaire. This decentralized exchange that, of course, runs on the Solana blockchain is fast, cheap, and permissionless. And Serum Dex is not far off from one billion dollars in total value locked with 959.9 million dollars in the current total value locked. The main object of the platform is to use a decentralized order book operated by smart contracts, giving users a wider range of prices and order sizes, which will ultimately aim to give you total power over your trades. Serum supports cross-chain trading, allowing users to also optimize other platforms like the ETH competitors that we've covered in previous videos. The second most popular on the Solana network is Radium. With $1.05 billion locked in, this is the largest automated market on the Serum DEX. The Ray token has a price history and is available from February of 2021 and hit an all-time high of just $16.93 and a total supply of $550 million. For users, Radium allows you to earn yields, take part in IDOs, and exchange tokens. This platform also holds benefits to projects. They can utilize the platform to act as a market maker and exchange and even fundraise for new ideas or to scale to improve their business. Founded by Alpha Ray, the team have taken part in a wide variety of other DeFi projects, and were personally trading DeFi while noticing flaws with the Ethereum network. The now founders brainstormed with Serum, and the concept of Radium was born. Leading the way, of course, is Solana itself, with $54.6 billion in total value locked. While Solana has made some impressive gains, it offers more than that. Its main objective is to host scalable applications, and it's no surprise that people often refer to Solana as the Usain Bolt of crypto. While Ethereum can process around 54 transactions per second, Solana can process up to 50,000 transactions per second, and that's more than double the transaction figures of Visa. The reason for such impressive speed and scalability is the consensus behind Solana. It doesn't use proof of work or proof of stake, but a new concept, proof of history. As it stands today, Solana holds a lot of promise, but also some challenges come along with it. While its speed and fees hold some impressive industry stance, there is still the question of if the network is stable enough. It's significantly newer than Ethereum and has faced some instability issues in the past. 
and I've covered Solana in more detail in some previous videos, and the link for those are in the description if you'd like to look into it further. And now I'm turning to you to ask you which of the 10 that I mentioned gets your vote. Let me know in the comment section down below. 